Hello and welcome back to White Knight Chronicles. Oblivion here. And I promise this video will be much more interesting than the last one. I decided to Battlestar Plane. Village of Parma is a lot of trees you can get materials from some of these things. There's which not will be much used to it, in but a it's a nice point. enough place. Say, uh, you're new to Ballandor, aren't you? Then why don't I show you the sights along the way? Sound good? Just keep a lookout for monsters. We're in the wild now. Hey, was that guy a friend of yours? You can change your character freely. Anyone in your party? I prefer to use myself. Why do I have no gear? Well, we can fix that soon enough. Once again, you can... Ah, come back. Once again, you can freely move around with the map, but you can't fight. Ah, here we are. Initiate combat, wait for your command to load, and attack. Magic takes a little while to cast. These guys do have weaknesses, but you don't always see them. The second game is much better at displaying weaknesses. When you find something that's shining like this, it contains materials, just keep on picking at it until you get all of them. attack something nearby creatures will become aggressive towards you. Sometimes these things have an annoying ability of attacking close range from a long distance away. And that would be a critical hit. There's always a chance. Ready to get teamed? These guys have some kind of healing in fact. Enemies also drop components. You can use them later, as I said. Fresh air. Occasionally, flowers also. Lots of stuff drop components. It's more or less a straight shot to Parma. 
and experience by killing monsters as usual. When you get to higher levels, lower level monsters will stop giving experience. If you attack and something dies, you need to wait for your attack to recharge again. That's the end of that. around then here flame. somewhere. There is a remake of the first game included with the second game. If there's enough support, I can do a let's play of that as well. I prefer this one for the first game though, as it's much less MP intensive, which we don't have in the first game that much. We have to make it back for the show. Don't listen to him. You can take however much time you like. You can cast magic even while not in combat. There are more? Oh yeah, and your health and magic go up while you're not in combat. Just walking around. Just had to fight us, huh? It means you can't do anything until someone hits you. Or you just get better. There's a chest. One of them at least. What? That's it? Things aren't giving us much experience now. Let's do this. Right at fifty, we're now down to forty five. See what's in this. I could have been waiting for that thing.
Not a lot of helms in this game, by the way. They're considered accessories, so they don't even count as armor. That thing appeared out of nowhere, along with the two things behind us. Some enemies like these guys, you can just walk right up next to, even with your star drawn, and they will not care. Vespids, though, will not wait for you to attack them. Here we go. It is a plant that gives materials. Let's see how far we are. Not very. See, this guy does not care that you're here with your sword out right next to him until you attack him. Also, just because you're being attacked does not mean you need to be in combat. You can run away freely. Arriving at Parma. Here we are. Welcome to Parma. Hey, you're on time for once. Yuli! Have you been there, Leonard? Oh, you must be the new guy. Rapachi told me you were coming. Glad you could make it. The wine's all set to go. Follow me. think we'd run into you. Are we just not important or something? 
chops. Do you want them? Nothing better than what we got. You must be kidding. This must be the beast swine. Don't let his looks fool you. He's a big old pussy cat. Now where? Rouse said he'd be here. Who? Your driver. Rouse is the only one who can get this fella to pull the wane. It won't move a step, not without Rouse's say so. Sit tight. I'll see if I can find him. But Yuli. Stake here. Nothing useful in here. And apparently, I'm not the only one commentating this. You got you have a symbol above your head. You must be important. Hey, what do you know? Nothing. I suppose we just look at the names on people's heads and someone says Rouse. Did I doze off again? Oh. This is where you were hiding? I told you not to be late. Please don't be mad, Miss Yuli. I am so sorry. starting to get dark. We better haul cask. Okay, Leonard. Like I mentioned before, Rouse here will be driving the Beast Wayne. <laughs> uh, uh, hello. Uh, happy to assist, Chief. Uh, by the way, if I happen to doze off again, uh, kindly wake me up before this beastie remembers I forgot to feed it breakfast and turns me into a late lunch. Uh-huh. Uh He's kind of weird, but he gets the job done. Off we go. We? You're coming too? Well, yeah. I wouldn't miss this party for the world. What? You don't want the extra help? Come on. We're late as it is. Ah. <sighs> Back to Ballister Plain. Um, next time. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.